To get to the Cabrillo Tide Pools, you're going to want to park at the Cabrillo Aquarium. Then follow the path that goes along the hillside. Stay on the path and then you'll reach a wooden path and follow that along the hillside. Once the path comes to an end, you're going to want to continue along the coastline past the cement rubble. Continue past all the cement rubble, keep going. Then you'll come upon an area of flat rock and this is where you'll find the tide pools, as long as it's low tide. These pools of water that collect in the rocks is what we call the tide pools. During high tide, they get completely submerged in water, but during low tide, they're almost completely exposed. And inside these tide pools, there is a plethora of organisms that are living in them. We can find many different algaes growing at Cabrillo. This is a green algae referred to as dead man's fingers. We're going to see organisms here from the phyla Nidaria, Mollusca, Arthropoda, and even Annelida. All right, let's talk about some of the animals that you're going to find here at the Cabrillo Tide Pools. First, let's start with Nidaria. So as far as Nidarians go, you're going to see the solitary sea anemone. The solitary sea anemone is one of the largest Southern California sea anemones. And just like any Nidarian, it has nematocysts, which are stinging cells. But with sea anemones, their stinging cells are not strong enough to penetrate human skin. So you can go ahead and touch it, touch it delicately. Never remove them from their rock because they work very hard to attach themselves. But when you touch it gently, it'll feel very sticky. That sticky feeling is all the pneumatocysts firing into your skin, but they're not penetrating, so it can't hurt you. But feel free to go ahead and touch them gently. As far as mollusks go, you'll see a lot of mollusks. You're going to see some black turban snails. You're going to see some limpets, maybe even a keyhole limpet. And you might find some chitons. Remember, you can spot chitons because of the eight plates, the eight pieces of shell on top of their body. The black turban shell is pretty easy to identify. It is black with a little white top on it. And you'll find the limpets because they're kind of more of a conical shape and they're attached very tightly to the rocks. Just because it looks like a snail does not mean it always is a snail. You might be also looking at hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are a crustacean from the order Decapoda. And hermit crabs use snail shells instead of their own shells because hermit crabs don't create a calcium chitin skeleton. Instead, they have just chitin. And so to protect themselves, they'll use the snail shells. During low tide, you'll find a lot of exposed pools covered in hermit crabs scurrying about wearing the old shells of snails. Another crustacean that you might find here is the striped shore crab. These guys are really quick darting in and out of the rocks, but some of them can get quite large. So walk slowly and keep your eye out in the cracks. Another arthropod that you might find is a gooseneck barnacle. Gooseneck barnacles are an arthropod. They're living inside these little shells and they have cirri, which is a feeding apparatus that filters the water during high tide. You'll also find barnacle shells encrusting all of the rocks around the tide pools. Tucked deep in this crevice, we can see the structures created by sandcastle worms. Sandcastle worms are an analyta worm, so they're a segmented worm. They're in the class Polychaeta. This is just to name a few of the animals that you'll find at the Cabrillo Tide Pools.